and welcome back to Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Alright, we just met up with Otis here again. We gave him, uh, um, we gave him some breath mints. So now we can talk to him, and we just started a conversation before time ran out. So let's not dilly-daddle and continue with it. Dilly-dally. What did I say? You said dilly-daddle. Well, I'm Swedish, I could say dilly-daddle. Finnish, I can still say dilly-dally. Anyway... <laughs> So, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, truly. Rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my aunt Tilly made, even though I, she knows I can't digest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food. Like pork trimmings, mostly feet and limbs, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. Ah, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> That's disgusting. I don't want to hear anymore. Hey, man, you asked. So, who'd want to frame you? I don't exactly know who. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Khan's piracy. Oh, oh, oh. We should really put a webcam thing in where we're just putting our hands up going, wah, wah, wah. Meh. Anyway. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff Whoa. has something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant so seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Mm, what should we say? Oh my gosh, look at the time! <laughs> ah, we are mighty pirates! I'm not sure what would be best. Ah, we, we were kind of, uh... Let's go bratty last time we met, so let's mm. be a little bratty again. Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. Don't take that tone with me, monkey boy. Or I'll gladly lock you up in there with Otis. Then you'd have to have pe plenty of time for private conversations. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it. Wherever you go on Melee Island, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get us both in trouble. Alright, fine, Otis. Or why don't you give him the ham? Oh, no, try that. So it's not necessary, but let's see if he's... Well, I mean, he did talk about the guy and the... Yeah, but that's not, uh... I don't want anything but my freedom. Okay. It was a try. Yeah, and I forget that you haven't played the game, so it's things that are obvious to me, uh, of course, aren't. That's a I bit of a problem when it's not the first time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know exactly what to do. In fact, I know it so much that I try to do it in ways I haven't done it, or try to do it the best way possible. But either way, we're gonna... Um, are we have still to... talking about the game, or are we talking yes, about something yes. else? Yes, oh, yes. okay. <laughs> Shame on you. I'm sorry. So, but now we're gonna have some use for this uh, rubber chicken. Because uh, last time I played this, I saved this until after a big story point, and then a lot of conversation options were... Uh, we're prevented. Okay. Border. 
let's go to the island or well, to the shore first. That's the thing, I mean, you immediately know what you need to do what. Whereas, you know, I would be, you know, walking around everywhere trying to find something. Oh, okay. What's this? Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. No, I'd say that's what we need to fix everything. Alright, well, there's a house over here. I think it could support my weight. So you put the pulley with the rubber chicken on there. And then... But be careful, it's gonna creak. Oh well. Let's well, see what happens if you use cable. Ah, okay. Wee. Sweet. Awesome. Again, I would never do that. I, I never. could never do that. Oh, then real life. Yeah. Meh. You're an adventure game character. Actually, let's be polite and knock. Oh, um, let's see. What, what, how, what would knock be? Are you talking to Why would you knock? I mean, you already opened the door. I know, but the, the character hasn't registered it yet. Okay, never mind. Oh, do you want to voice him? Yeah. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? All right. What? I'm Bobbin Threadbare. Are you my mother? Remember? You know, in front of the circus. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> A pirate cannibal head? Who are you? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here. <laughs> well, yeah, I have made me feel a bit ringing grog. Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little bit out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal acts, tattoo demonstrations, or souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of my trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down and put out of business. And since then I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hell permit. Monster that just by coincidence is identical to the one that attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of my hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm getting all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that, Meat Hook. Yeah, that, oh, he hasn't said his name. That's his name. Okay. Oh well, we don't seem to have much more to say, so... I'm Bob and Fredbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. I'm a pirate, Cannonball Head. Who are you? My name is Meatook. And I've... I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you got a little hair problem. Out. Jeez. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. Why, you... Aww, oh, don't be that way. <laughs> oh, and I think I'm gonna go inside and apologize. But we'll do that in the next video. So we're just nearing up to... Uh, it's nearing up to 10 minutes, so we'll see you then, and we'll have some more fun with me too. Yep. Goodbye. Okay,